Yo, it's Pana House in the house! Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than normally. Last week, I was in LA doing a cool podcast with Urban Pitch. We were talking about all kinds of things related to street soccer. I compiled some of the best parts that I thought you guys might enjoy. Because of the nature of this video, I thought it'd be cool if I could answer all of you guys' questions. So, when you're done watching the video, make sure to ask me a question down there below, and I promise I'll get back to every single one of you. You're right. Yeah, you're good at promotion, but you're, you're, I don't think you're as good at self-promotion, it seems like. You know what <laughs> that, I, mean? I think, well, that's because I, I it's, it's, for me, that's definitely not the most important part. Right. I, the crew is, my crew, Copenhagen Pana House is what comes first for me. Okay. Uh, How'd you start that, by the way? Well, like I, I was, so I was playing street soccer for a couple of years, right? And uh, I was just getting somewhat better at it. I could move the ball around, do some okay. ground moves, but I was So you're probably moving. like, what age at this time? And I'm like 18, 19. Okay. So you're like 18 around I, now. I so you've been balling I, for like four or five years. And I finished, I finished high school, okay. and then, uh, then I moved to Copenhagen to study, to study at university. And yeah, I hooked up with these other ballers, street, street soccer ballers, mm -hmm. who were like, you know, opposite of me, were really, really good soccer players. And, uh, you know, we mixed and matched, taught each other different skills. And we, like from then on, we really took it to another level. Uh, right. What what really happened is when you start training with some with, with people that you know want the same thing as you, you're, yeah. that's when your level really increases, and not so much when you just right. train by yourself. It was more like a crew, right? Yeah. Originally, huh? It was it wasn't like we're gonna we were, come up with a business, we right? Were, uh, we were, it, no, 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 man. We had yeah. uh, we just loved street soccer. We were three guys: uh, Suel the Gypsy, Emin, mm -hmm. Ben Mumu, and, and me. We just decided we wanted to make this crew, and the whole idea was we called it Copenhagen Pana House because we believe in growing the sport together as a whole. Uh, everyone has to be a part of it. That's why it's a house, everyone mm -hmm. under one roof. Mm -hmm. We all speak the same language, it's the ball. <laughs> everybody speaks it. Yeah. That's the best part. Uh, when you explain about the urban culture, like what is the relation to soccer and, you know, um... it, it, it's, it, it's, that's, that is one of my favorite things always to say is what the, it's what Emin, Emin always says, uh -huh. uh, which is such a cool thing about street soccer and soccer in general is, you know, we all speak all these different kind of languages. We all have these different ways of communicating with each other. But right. when it all comes down to it, we actually all speak this same language, okay. which is, you know, the soccer ball, the soccer game. I mean, we, it doesn't matter if we can't speak to each other, we can still communicate through this game, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I went to Japan for two weeks last year and the Japanese scene is amazing, by the way. they have. Such a great way of uh, going into the sport. They view it more as an art than a sport, really. But mm -hmm. they, none of them spoke English at all. Uh, <laughs> so like, I could not communicate with them. But as soon as you know, we started balling up. You know, smiles on everyone's faces. Everyone's enjoying it. We uh, right. feel like a real connection. <laughs> um, you say you like soccer. What What is your main? Uh, Feel, feeling you get from it, like from playing soccer? Is it for yourself, for other people? Like, what is the fulfillment you get yeah, from playing I, I, soccer? I, I, or doing it's, it yeah, that's, that's a great question. Uh, probably, like, in the core of everything, it's probably like in, for my own well being that I, that I play. Like, just love to play. I, I, I go in there and when I grab my soccer ball it's, and I start playing, it's just that's, that's, those are the best times of my life. I, like, I bet you guys can relate. Right. Uh, for sure. It's, it's another world, man. You just you take all the stress, all the negativity out of your life. I have an armband here that says, uh -huh. uh, "Be positive, no negativity allowed." Uh -huh. Right. And I have one that says, "All you need is the ball." So those pretty much answer the question as well. That's really right. my my zone, man. Yeah, you know, go up to the zone. Like when you're stressed out, you want to pick a ball. So it's, like, it's it's uh, it's incredible. It's like there's nothing like it. Yeah, medicine of life. For sure. Right, right, right. right. Well, what about the shoes then? You know, what kind of shoes are you usually do you prefer when you're, yeah, when you're I, falling out there? So like again, like uh, I used to be like uh, I used to be in the the you know the the Puma Light camp that everyone's okay. been jumping on the band bandwagon. Uh -huh. uh, I moved away from that like one and a half year ago. Okay. Uh, I played in everything since. Um, right. Because I, this is what I try to tell people, and I, and I teach the kids the same thing. I say, you know, don't, don't, uh, yeah, you bought one type of shoe, and maybe right. you liked it a lot, but don't yeah. necessarily buy the same shoe next time and the same shoe third time, because right. what's going to happen if you buy a different shoe the second time and you start playing with that, you're going to start, you're going to see that you're going to start play, doing different tricks, you're going to have a different style, mm -hmm. and maybe this incorporated into your older style is going to make you an even better player than it would have if you just kept playing in the same shoes and kept, uh, you know, it's like driving in the same tracks. You're not testing anything different now. So mm -hmm. I think it's important to try and, and, and play with with different shoes 
Uh, right now, I have a pair of uh, Nike SB. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like skateboarding shoes, right. but the light, light version, right. which is really cool. Uh, before that, I had the, the Gatos. Uh, I also, like, I've pl- played in these. Puma. Show them out, man. That one. Okay. Oh, oh, no, man. Oh. Bam. Right. I, so you don't. Anything. Yeah. So you're not really trying yeah, to get. Jacob, the, you're Jacob, not trying to get the, the latest street soccer shoes. No, 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 no. Jacob, kind of Jacob from my crew. He yeah. plays in his sandals. You know. Like the, yeah. What do you got? What do you street rocking? soccer man. Sure. It's, uh, so were, you, were you consider like playing against somebody and beating them as like a, a rank? For them, or if you just watch, regardless whether they beat you or not, no, like you feel like this no. guy is actually. No, I, uh, I've, uh, just... I have, <laughs> in Pana tournaments, I've, it, you know, I've, I've beaten Suf more times than he's beaten me. I've beaten Gentos more times than he's beaten me, but I still consider them better players than me. So <laughs> that's yeah, because no, sometimes that's not it's like it. things happen like, by chance. It's like you would see like yeah, say, Pana is I'm... a short game. It's a three minute game. You can right. lose to anyone, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, greatest Pana guy in the world. I think I, but but you know when you when you reach there's also like a point when you reach like uh, especially in like in such an individual game as Pana when you reach a high level, mm-hmm. you need to like believe that if if you don't if you don't believe that you're the best you at least have to believe that you can be the best like I I go around telling myself that I'm the best because that's the only way I'm right. I'm gonna go into the game and not have like the fear of my opponent because if I go sure. in there and thinking this guy is much better than me then yeah man I'm gonna get my ass kicked. The last time you were here, when we first met, like a year ago, right? You're telling me John Dos was one of your like inspirations, right? I think I think John Dos is the best uh, pana player in the world. Okay. Yeah. Do you get nervous when you play against him, one on one? Not anymore. You don't. I used to. <laughs> so in the beginning, you to. you know when you were first playing against him, you would get nervous. And yeah, like, I would get sooner, and I yeah. would get I would get paralyzed, and right. I wouldn't be able to take the ball. That one thing I've I've really practiced the last couple of years is mm-hmm. actually taking the ball. Like I've. Uh, so I've received a lot of panas, the uh, yeah. especially from my kids, you know, okay. pana house because uh, it's, just, it's it's all we do. I, I I I really try to teach this mentality. You gotta go for the ball, man. All right. Like the old school mentality is, if you get pana, you retire, right? Yeah. yeah. Like this is, but nowadays, if you want to be the best, man, you gotta be able to attack. You gotta be able to defend, and then in right. a pana game that only lasts three minutes, you gotta be able to take the ball, and you gotta be able to take yeah. the ball like as fast as possible. So that's and, a big and a lot of, of players actually do give up like real quick. They like, and if you just stand there, just looking at the ball, and if you're scared of your opponent, you're gonna lose the match, man. Gentos is so good; he will easily just pass you if you don't take the ball. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching uh, today's video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you're a real hardcore fan, go to Urban Pitch and check out the full 50 minute podcast. It's really cool, has a lot of dope stuff. Make sure to check the rest of their channel out. Um, they're doing some cool things, uh, podcasts with all kinds of people, uh, different street soccer clips. Peace out, take care, and see you soon.